to the entire world. Be blessed and stay phenomenal. God is good all the time. Now, we will be going over the Apostles' Creed. And I want to thank you for tuning in. We have a spiritual audiobook playlist that carries books such as The Infancy of Jesus Christ, The Book of Revelations, The Book of Psalms, The Book of Mary, and other books that I suggest with all my heart that you listen to. For God is good and God has many writings and many ways for us to be able to get to those writings. Sometimes listening is the best way because God did give us two ears. Let us begin. The Apostles Creed. One. I believe in God, the Father Almighty. Two. And in Jesus Christ, his only begotten son, our Lord. Three, who was born of the Holy Ghost and Virgin Mary. Four, and was crucified under Pontius Pilate and was buried. Five, and the third day rose again from the dead. Six, ascended into heaven, sitteth on the right hand of the Father. Seven, whence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. Eight, and in the Holy Ghost. Nine, the Holy Church. Ten, the remission of sins. 11, and the resurrection of the flesh. Amen. This is the Apostles' Creed. And many of you live by this creed unaware every single day. Go through the list again. Believing in God and accepting Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of our Lord, who was born of the Holy Ghost and Virgin Mary and was crucified and rose from the dead, ascended into heaven and sits on the right hand of God and who shall come to judge the living and the dead and believing in the Holy Ghost and knowing that you are the Holy Church of God. I am the church. The human race is the holy church of God. And to forgive one another of our sins that we commit. And believe that the resurrection of the flesh is true. Amen. If you hold these things into your heart and into your mind, you daily are living by the Apostles' Creed. There are many more secrets and many more mysteries that God is choosing to reveal. And I thank God that I have been chosen to be God's servant to reveal these mysteries. There are many more prophets and disciples out there. For I am simply just a servant of God, God's servant, a host to the Lord. And I encourage all people to step forth. And bring what God has in you and bring it out of you into this world and fill the light. Fill this world with your light because you are a child of the light. And when they ask you, are you the light? You say, no, I come from the light, that light that dwells within me. If they ask you, where is proof of that light? You say proof of that light is God the Father, who is that light within me. If they ask you, are you all-powerful? Do you have proof that God is all-powerful? You tell them, God's power lies in rest and in motion, meaning God's power never stops. God's power is omniscient. It is everything. 
be blessed and stay phenomenal. And remember, plan strategically for your life or life will strategically plan for you. Amen, amen, and amen.